Uh, just a short discussion on inguinal hernias or uh, groin hernias, as we know it in common uh, language in the, at the Pretoria Urology Hospital. Um, um, and basically, hernias are fairly common in the elderly population and can be sometimes troublesome. Um, a lot of hernias are asymptomatic. In other words, it doesn't cause any problems with just a swelling in the groin area. But some do cause some pain and some can actually be quite dangerous, especially if there's a piece of bowel that gets stuck into that hernia when it becomes incarcerated or obstructed. Um, some, some patients might never need any treatment for, for the hernia repairs, especially in the elderly. Uh, there are devices to, to try to, to reduce the hernia uh, without having to do any surgery. Generally speaking, there are three different approaches to, to, to hernia repairs. Um, old traditional open inguinal hernia incision that entails either a tissue repair or a tissue repair combined with a form of mesh uh, to strengthen the hernia repair. Um, uh, these days we do however uh, move away to a more non-invasive approach. The hernias can either be done laparoscopically and especially if the hernias are repeat, repeat hernias or bilateral. Um, Basically, it's, it's done through two, two or three uh, small um, uh, abdominal incisions. Um, abdomen is inflated, um, and the hernia is retracted into the abdomen, and a piece of mesh is positioned uh, distally or to, the, or to the lower part of the hernia. It can be done as a day procedure. Uh, Salon patient has to spend one night uh, uh, in, in hospital and generally can return to normal activities within one week. Um, we've had great success with these. Uh, complications are less than 1% return of the hernia can, be, can happen in less than 2 to 5%. Uh, but uh, generally speaking, patients really experience uh, this procedure quite well and, can, and it's done on a regular basis in this hospital with some expertise.